Hi, I'm John with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on creating rhythms based on data using Sonic Pi. Um, this is sort of a crazy topic, right? We're going to take some numbers or some data. We're going to put it in our code. We're going to use those numbers to create beats. That's what's happening. Um, it's pretty interesting. There's uh, two ways I'm going to show you how to do this. One is using binary uh, to create beats, and then the other one is using a thing called Euclidean rhythms. So uh, we got a lot to get through. Let's get into it right now. So I've got Sonic Pi pulled up here. I've already loaded in some data to use. We're not going to start with that. First, I'll talk to you about binary a little bit. So uh, binary is a way of writing numbers using just ones and zeros instead of writing them like normal. Um, I'm not going to get too much into how it works, but just take take it from me. Uh, that that's a binary number. That's that's number one in binary. Uh, it looks like normal, but then things start getting a little bit weird. Like that's two in binary. That's three in binary. Uh, that's five in binary. So like it it's it's different, right? But um. But these these are these are real numbers, and this is how actually computers keep track of numbers in, inside them. That so that's a, another topic for another day. Um, but let's imagine for a moment this. Uh, let's talk about that binary number right there. This is five, five in binary. There we go. That equals five. Uh, let's think about how we might represent that with uh, a, a rhythm. Uh, imagine that each spot in this number is. Uh, is like a, a space in the music. We've got four four spots, so four sleeps. And if there's a one in the spot, we're gonna include a sample. So let me put some samples in here, real quick. Grab that. Four samples. Now our number uh, doesn't have uh, ones in all the spots. It's it's a zero, then a one. So we'll do a space, and then a sample, and then another space to go with the zero, and then another sample to go with the one. And here's our rhythm. There it is. <laughs> uh, let's, let's put this, let's change this up a little bit. Uh, we'll make this a... Um, Snare, great, um, and we'll throw a kick drum underneath of it. So I have loop, just four on the floor kick, and our snare. So this part of the code, it represents the number five. Uh, it's it's five in binary turned into a beat, and then this one's just you know something underneath of it, so we can hear what it sounds like. Pretty good. Let's make these the same sound. So that's binary. <laughs> um, the uh, it can get a little bit crazier than that though, because we've just represented one number in binary, and what we'd like to be able to do is have the computer sort of figure this binary out by itself. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that right now. Uh, let's make a new live loop. Uh, and the first thing we'll do is decide on our number. Let's, uh, let's just say our number, uh, let's pick any number between uh, zero and uh, 255. Um, that'll be an eight bit number, uh, so eight spaces. Uh, and let's actually change our BPM to something a little bit more interesting. Great. Um, so let's pick a let's pick a number. I don't know, um, 137. Uh, and then what we'll do is eight times to go with uh, how many spaces there are, because it's eight, uh, eight bits in the, in the numbers range that we've chosen. We'll either do a sample. Uh, and let's do the beep, um, or we won't do a sample. And regardless, we'll sleep like that. So this isn't doing anything for us. It's just going to beep a bunch of times. Oh, horrible. Um, can I do a different blip, maybe? 
Sure, let's make that quieter. So the uh, so this isn't representing our binary number yet. We need to turn 137 into binary and then use that here. So what I'll do is uh, write this little fancy uh, expression. Basically, it's checking our number to see if there's a one in the last bit of the number. And then after that, before we sleep, before we sleep, we are gonna take our number and shift everything over. But this, this is gonna get us what we want, where it's gonna turn our number into a pattern. And if we change the number, that will change the pattern. Pretty cool. It's, it's okay if you don't totally understand how this goes together. 255 is our maximum, so it's totally filled up all the bits. If we just do one, it'll only make one sound every, uh, every eight times. If we do two or three, it'll only make two sounds right next to each other. Right? Because three in binary. Like that. Now, how does this connect to data? Well, uh, obviously, we aren't using our data here at all. We're just making up a number. But we could use our data. Right here, I have a um, weather, uh, weather data. Um, it's the temperature it feels like outside. And I can change the range so that it matches the range that I want to use, 0 to 255. I'll run it so that it, it uh, adds all my stuff in there. And then once it's done, I'll go back and I'm gonna use this temp data instead of setting my binary number. Just takes a couple seconds. There we go, Pretty sweet. All right, so now instead of doing this, I'm gonna go into my data get temp uh, and I'll tick through it or actually I should make a different thing say data and then n equals data tick yeah that's good so now my the number I'm using is gonna be different as I tick through the data and the uh, now my number is getting pulled from my data set instead of me just typing it into the code. So now my music is sort of representing a part of my data. Pretty sweet, there we go. And you can, every time it goes around, you can see it over here, zeros. And the more beeps there are, the higher the number is. So you can kind of hear when the data's high, when the data's low. Did I get the right data? Yeah. Yeah, I did it. Cool. So that's uh, how you make beats with binary based on your data. <laughs> um, it's, it's good to kind of layer these, get a couple of them going at a time. Uh, having just one is not super cool, so add, add a bunch more live loops and experiment a little bit. Um, I definitely look forward to uh, to hearing what you make. Share it with us. Uh, if you have any questions, you run into any problems, definitely reach out. We would love to help. Otherwise, good luck and happy coding.